لبست المناظر عشت تجربة حقيقية عشت وكأنه أنا داعش وياهم بهاي التجربة بس كانت بنفس الوقت فتشي يخوف إنه واحد يجي يعيش هاي الأشياء بالحقيقة تخوف. That was a great experience to seeing it although it was a very sad story and it's a great way to tell it and to educate people about what has happened and the tragedies that had happened and hopefully such projects such telling stories will help us to prevent such tragedies in the future. This project was uh, done in 2019 uh, by um, a person called uh, Ryan D'Souza uh, and he is the director of Nobody is Listening. He and Yesda they did this project in collaboration together. We have uh, been showing this VR to people as a tool of uh, advocacy to raise awareness about the Yazidi genocide and to use it as a tool to prevent uh, like uh, future genocide and atrocities uh, against minorities and uh, uh, other groups. So this event, it's uh, it was like co-hosted, uh, co-organized story with uh, by uh, with COE as the upstream uh, and with the support from the U.S. consulate and U.S. embassy. This VR virtual reality device has been shown in so many places, in many countries, to many uh, diplomats, to many uh, people. To it's kind of like bringing people to the to the reality of what happened to the Yazidi community specifically and the other communities uh, as well. such a new experience I got to know more about uh, Yazidian culture and uh, I can say I understand it, what happened with them in in past and uh, what happened to their families their children and it was really such a bad thing well actually it was my first time first time I've uh, used the VR glasses. It was such an amazing experience for me and I've the feeling was so high and emotional especially the story about the Yazidi genocide and I feel like I was leaving I, I already leave it there and I feel that how it is impactful and this story has really not be forgotten at all and everybody has to remember it always and I feel like I was flying and I was above something for VR glasses it was something like I really like it in the same way I feel sad about our Yazidi story. Mm -hmm.